Good morning traders. So let's have a look at the Aussie this morning. And uh, I think what we need to do is we do need to have these weekly levels to the downside in. Okay. So you can see uh, buyer stepped in on the tail of this um, weekly bar. So you can expect the next level to be to offer some resistance and um, <clears throat> Yes, I am talking in the terms of we having more downside, but I'll show you now why. And uh, yeah, there's nothing really else on the weekly. Um, there's nothing to read into Ichimoku at the moment. It's pretty much positive. So let's just move on. Okay, if we can get it right. Right. So we were meandering down yesterday until we hit uh, one of the Fibonacci levels which coincided, you see the 50% Fibonacci, uh, the daily 200 EMA plus the, the daily Kijunson and we also had this uh, weekly level here where we turned. Okay, so that's pretty much what happened yesterday is we ran down, found some support, and then retraced. Okay, now in normal circumstances, this is a nice rejection bar off a level. So there's two, basically three levels that it's rejected off. So we have the 200-day uh, EMA, we have um, the daily Kijunson, it's red line, and we have the weekly level, which is a blue line. And uh, basically, you can see with this long tail, that's very typical of a rejection bar. So here's another rejection bar. And you'd expect these buying to continue to the upside. But I don't think that's what we're going to get. Okay. Um, there's nothing really to read into Ichimoku on the daily. We are very much in a broader range. So you can basically lay... You can do... Pretty much that, all that, but that's um, probably the easiest one. So th that's the, the broader range that we're in at the moment. So the price could come all the way back down and then go all the way back up at this stage. So let's just get to the four hour. Okay, so a couple of things here. So you can see we broke through the 200 on the four hour. We have had a bearish crossover, and um, Chico Span has broken through price, and it is bouncing off the cloud at the moment. So, bounce, pull through the cloud, and you can see uh, price is broken through the cloud, testing the break, and for another move down. As it stands now, we have uh, 10 cent that's down almost 2%, and um, Asia's down pretty much a percent across the board and the US futures is down again and at the other and they all gap down. So yeah there's um Trump is screaming about new tariffs and of course what'll happen is China will slap new tariffs on the US. So it's just it's gonna continue in a merry go fashion um, and just creating more volatility in the market. Anyway so from the four hour perspective you can see we are starting to turn bearish. Okay, obviously we need a, a break below the cloud and a hold below the clouds to continue moving down. But um, we closed this gap up here and we also now have pretty much nothing. I think if I just use this line here. So we, we've got these two weekly levels and then you've got um, this four hour level here. Then you have a gap. And then there's nothing really holding back to the bottom gap here. Okay, so that's kind of what I can see at the moment on the four hour end. I suspect we're going to get some more downside. So let's just get to the hour. It's probably easier to trade this thing on the hour. So you could see the the warning was here the minute Kijunson and Tikinson were moving apart. You knew that there was a retracement coming, and that was a retracement at the close. Okay, now I somehow doubt that we're going to move much higher than this. 
we're probably going to have another gap down and we're going to continue moving down. So I think what you need to do at the moment is obviously we need to watch. That was the original channel down and I think what you're going to end up with now is something like that. Okay, so the one hour is definitely bearish. The only question is how far are we falling? Okay, and um, as it stands now, six o'clock in the morning, we've got some, we've got quite a bit of pain coming today. Um, unless something changes through through the morning, but at this stage, pretty much everything is is down. The DAX, I mean, DAX futures is down one percent at the moment. So. Uh, Dow futures is down 1%, uh, US small cap futures down 1%, so at this stage I think there, there's some serious downside coming today. Okay, so what are we doing today? Obviously looking for shorts and I've just got a feeling that today shorts are going to be, it's going to be pretty difficult to find a level that you're going to get in. So. I think watch the open and uh, see exactly what happens at the open. So if you just get down to something like a 12 minute, you can see we close on the underside of that cloud. So I suspect we're going to we're going to gap down, uh, probably quite violently as well. So you can watch price action and uh, any retracement in short. What we're aiming for, um, I won't be able to to even guess that at the moment. So I think the easiest way to do this is once you're in, is just keep moving your stop down. I can't see something happening today that's going to suddenly change the sentiment in the market. And um, at this stage, it's full on trade war. So what we need, to, what you're going to need to do is get in, keep your stop tight in the beginning, uh, get it moving, move your stop to entry and let it run. Pick yourself a target, whether it's 200, 300, 400, 500, 1,000 points, and um, take your profit at that level. Because I can almost guarantee you something will happen soon. You know, clear heads may prevail. We never know. Okay, so yeah, that's my, my take on the Aussie today. Is, there's more downside, and I think what you need to do is you really need to get in um, wherever you can um, on any bearish action okay and then try and ride it through this there's two strong levels there's three strong levels here so obviously it should bounce around here um, if the market's really in panic mode it's just going to fly through these levels and yeah just stay on the, the Ichimoku use the 15 or the um, 20 minute or 12 minute 30 minutes, whichever you feel comfortable with, and just keep running down. So long as price stays uh, below Tickinson like this, we are on the downward move. And if you look at the four hour, you know, we are starting to turn bearish on the four hour. So if you turn bearish on the four hour, you know, there's normally quite a long move um, to the downside that you can pick up. If you look at this here, So, 2,000 odd points on this move here. Okay. So, yeah, so that's it for the Aussie. Um, short it is, and you just have to find your entry on the lower time frame. Hope it helps, and uh, keep those stops tight today. And uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Cheers, man.